Welcome to Episode 1, Travel System Administration Certification Guide. This episode explains the general process of obtaining certification needed to administer the eGov travel system. It provides an overview of the process, the training lesson prerequisites, the hands-on laboratory, testing and grading, and certification maintenance requirements. By the end of this episode, you will learn the following, an overview of the training program required for travel system administration certification. How lessons within the training program are structured. The prerequisite knowledge and skills necessary before beginning the program. An introduction to important symbols used throughout the training program. How your learning will be assessed throughout the training program. The required and recommended reference materials associated with travel system administration. The following symbols draw your attention to a particular point or topic. The red circle and exclamation point denotes a very important point. The yellow caution triangle denotes a safety note warning that failure to heed the point will likely cause significant issues. The blue exclamation point and banner denotes a best practice. And the blue binoculars denote a case study used to further explain or provide an example. To properly administer a travel management information technology system, an administrator must not only understand how to use the system's functions, but also why they must be used in a particular way. The Pathway to Travel System Administration Certification is a series of training lessons that establish foundational knowledge, the why, and then build upon it with practical application, the how, or, more accurately, how to. Through a progression of lessons, candidates for Travel System Administration Certification will learn the concepts, tasks, and skills of the role so they will be able to properly apply the high-level league of travel system permissions that operate the system. Upon successful completion of all the prerequisite lessons, including any associated tests, you will be eligible to enroll in the Travel Systems Administration Laboratory, a hands-on, instructor-led lesson that emphasizes practical application of systems administration permissions. Successful completion of the laboratory, including its written and practical application test, is the final step to obtain certification and eligibility to perform the Travel System Administrator role. The pathway to earning certification as a travel system administrator and the associated maintenance requirement is First, pre-qualification and acknowledgement of responsibilities. Prerequisite preparatory training consisting of training courses delivered via YouTube. This phase is self-paced. Second, hands-on training. This refers to attendance at virtual instructor-led travel system administration laboratory. Hands-on training occurs over laboratory days 1 and 2. Third, Certification after demonstration of skill. Successful completion of a written test and demonstration of skills, test to pass. Laboratory Day 2. Fourth, maintenance. Twice yearly certification of need to have role and participation in monthly technical meetings. Certification occurs by deadline. Students who seek certification as a travel system administrator must have basic skills at using the current eGov, Travel Services eGov, Travel System, ETS implemented at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, including accessing the system, understanding the layout of the system's desktop, navigating between screens, creating TDY authorizations, making reservations, and filing travel expense voucher claims. Students who do not have these basic skills should first complete the HHS Learning Management System courses that teach basic system user skills. This training program comprises the foundational work needed to bear the system administrator role in the eGov travel system. Completion of all lessons is a prerequisite to enrollment in the two-day practical application lesson titled, Travel System Administration Laboratory. You must view all lessons and achieve a score of 80% or better on the final exam. You may use your own notes when taking the final exam. The remainder of this lesson provides a number of reference sources you will need to consult as part of the certification pathway. Some of the resources are available from external websites. If a link has expired, use an internet browser to search for the resource by its title. Resources not generally available online are instead attached within this lesson. They may be downloaded and distributed as necessary. Resources marked as required should be studied before viewing the next lesson. For example, you will need to review the document titled, Travel Terms and Definitions to complete the lesson titled, Travel Terms and Definitions. A link to this document can be found in the description section below this video. Required reading materials include the following. Federal Travel Regulation Part 300-3, Glossary of Terms. The Travel System Administration Training Terms and Definitions Recommended reading materials include the following. 
The HHS Travel Policy Manual, 2018 edition. Note, the pending HHS Travel and Transportation Policy will supersede the HHS Travel Policy Manual. The Department of Defense Joint Travel Regulation. Appendix B to Circular Number A123, a risk management framework slash or government charge card programs, revision dated August 27, 2019. The following are further recommended reading materials. U.S. Government Rental Car Agreement No. 4. OMBA 126, Improving the Management and Use of Government Aircraft, Revision Dated May 22, 1992. Federal Travel Regulation, Bulletin, 14, 0, 8, Designation of Agency Senior Travel Officials, Dated May 13, 2014. E-Travel Services, Second Generation, Master Contract. E-Travel Services, Second Generation, Master Contract Fee Award Schedule Which of the following shows the correct qualification pathway to earning certification as a travel system administrator? A. 1. Certification after demonstration of skill. 2. Maintenance. 3. Prequalification and acknowledgement of responsibilities. 4. Hands-on training. B. 1. Prequalification and acknowledgement of responsibilities. 2. Hands-on training. 3. Certification after demonstration of skill. 4. Maintenance. C. 1. Maintenance. 2. Prequalification and acknowledgement of responsibilities. 3. Hands on training. 4. Certification after demonstration of skill. D. 1. Hands on training. 2. Certification after demonstration of skill. 3. Maintenance. 4. Prequalification and acknowledgement of responsibilities. Pause the video, consider your response, and then resume to learn the answer. The correct answer is B. 1. Prequalification and acknowledgement of responsibilities. 2. Hands on training. 3. Certification after demonstration of skill. 4. Maintenance. Which of the following statements is false regarding the ETS final exam? A. You must achieve a score of at least 80%. B. You will take the final exam upon successful completion of all courses. C. You are forbidden from referring to personal notes while taking the final exam. D. Upon passing the ETS final exam, you will have satisfied the requirements for travel system administrator. Pause the video, consider your response, and then resume to learn the answer. The correct answer is C. You are forbidden from referring to personal notes while taking the final exam. This is a false statement. Which of the following is false regarding the Travel Systems Administration Laboratory? A. Emphasizes practical application of what you learned in the prerequisite lessons, online lessons. B. Conducted via a live instructor. C. Includes a written and practical application test. D. Runs approximately 10 business days, 2 weeks. Pause the video. Consider your response, and then resume to learn the answer. The correct answer is, D. Runs approximately 10 business days, 2 weeks. This is a false statement. Congratulations! You have completed this episode. Thank you for participating. The next episode in this series is Episode 2, Travel Terms and Definitions.